The last time we were at Crows, this was happening. This evening we're going to get a bit more serious about the local fox population, which you'll soon appreciate is pretty healthy at Crow Towers. It was meant to be a rabbiting night, but we started talking calls, then rustling up those calls, including what we believe could be the largest and most beautifully crafted fox call ever. Especially the way David's children have been playing it at school. Very aspirational. The lessons were terminated after eldest Minnie David referred to the bow as the stick. Although Crow and Dom are less than impressed, it is slipped onto the back of the buggy where Crow is preparing his expanded polystyrene call. What we don't realise is that not all polystyrene is made equal. As you pull it apart, you see it's all small balls. You really want the bigger ones, they make a better squeak. I haven't got any electronic callers, so I call the professionals. All I've got is a bit of glass and a bit of polystyrene. The first field has been freshly cut for hay. With little enthusiasm, Crow tries to get a squeak out of the cello. He's not taking this seriously, and there is lots of swearing. David has a go. I ain't going to make the top 40. Incredibly, there's no response. Even the polystyrene doesn't change our fortunes. Yeah, we've got foxes everywhere at the moment. The field over the back there, there was 15 in that when I cut it. It's only a 15 acre field. I was hoping to pick one up on this bit of hay. I cut it earlier, but no joy. I think the cello put pay to that, but um, you had big ideas with it, David, but it doesn't seem to have worked. Onto the stubbles, and this time Crow wakes up the neighbourhood. With just the 17 on board, distance is a problem, but this fox is on the horizon anyway. There are calls for the cello to make another appearance, but no chance. Is that the first musical instrument you've ever played? No. Oh, was you impressed? What? Well, you got a good, good tone out of it. Yeah, yeah. Used to play the recorder at school? Yep. Electric guitar? Cut. Come on, what did you play? What did you play? I play football. Tuba? Oh, that's for fat people. Spoons. <laughs> Kazoo. Kazoo. <laughs> I had a shaky thing through the bells. Like, Chick -chick 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 -chick. Maracas? No. <laughs> Imagine if it's maracas. We like we like bez. That's happy on that. We like vibes, man. Right, let's go get the foxes. After twisting our melons, we leave this fox family gathering for when it gets dark. On the way back to the yard, we get our first fox of the night. Again, there are eyes everywhere, but only one makes the move, and Dom drops it with a headshot. Back over the other side of the farm, the foxes start falling. It is extraordinary how many there are. Doing really well tonight. We've had uh, four shots, four foxes. We're using a 1 7 tonight. Um, it's not a favourite of mine for the uh, foxes, but we were going to shoot rabbits, but we've seen a few foxes, so we thought we'd wind into them. Um, we're not shooting anything long range, everything's a nut shot. So, that's it. in my eyes, that's the only, only place to hit them really in the top of the head. Um, so, so if, you, if you're doing most of your shooting inside 100 yards, yeah. And it's headshots. Yeah, it's that's, not, gone. that's what. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're doing tonight. But ideally, if you're going out just for foxes, you would want to be back in the centre fire. Yeah, I'd use a two, four, three, or two, 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 three, two. or yeah. yeah, yeah, triple two, 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 three, like you say. But that's all we got tonight. So, with us heading for double figures and Dom's biggest fox haul of his life, we go back to where we started. Andy brings them in close enough for the one seven. The Nightmaster's red light is proving an excellent tool this evening and one sweep falls on another of the farm's problems. Just one week to go and Andy can start trying to thin out the numbers a bit. We finish where we started on the hay. That is the most foxes by far I've shot in an evening. It's the most foxes I've seen in an evening. And probably most of them, if we'd had, if we'd had a centre fire, would have been shootable. Um, and Andy managed to get a good number to come in with his little bit of 
polystyrene, despite only having small balls, um, he still managed to make them uh, make them come. <laughs> he always lowers the tone, that boy. <laughs> Before we go, does anyone want a second-hand woodcrafted fox call with stick? <laughs>